This year has been a fantastic start to the Ultimate STEM Challenge. We've had hundreds of entries from hundreds and hundreds of young people all across the UK. Today we're at the Science Museum to see the finalist presentations from six teams from around the UK. They're going to be showcasing their solutions to keeping warm, keeping cool and keeping hydrated in extreme situations. Well, I was over the moon, of course, because getting into a final is a great opportunity. And also, when I found out it was national, it was a national competition, I was really, I was even more excited. Our students have come to London for the very first time. Uh, first visit to the Science Museum itself has been impressive enough, but then to actually meet people who are in charge, who are willing to listen to their ideas, has been extremely important to realise that they are, they can converse with somebody who is in an eminent position, um, is valuable for lifelong learning. So it was quite, it's a brilliant opportunity to speak to some people who do the sort of things you might want to do when we're older. It was really exciting to meet re like really good scientists because I've never met any before. Our idea was to circulate cool air through the hard hat. It's a lot of things which I've really enjoyed, but um, running the tests and using the machines and that, that was a really fun experience and I really enjoyed doing that. So the, the thing about the shortlisted people for the final is they all have a number of things in common. One is there's some uh, very good scientific thinking. Uh, and a great deal of imagination, but also they all have some wit about them as well. Uh, and I often think that uh, great inventions also have a great deal of humour and a great deal of kind of uh, maverick thinking behind them as well. 